Welcome back to the garage. Today I'm looking at my, one of my EcoFlow, EcoFlow <laughs> Delta Pros, having a problem with it. I did a previous video of what I think is one of the greatest flaws of the Delta Pro, and that is its weak uh, solar input jack. Had multiple, I've had at least two units where I've had to ship to, back to the manufacturer, have them repair the, the PV input because it detached and came loose. Today, I've had that happen again. Um, and rather than go through the whole process of shipping it to back and having them ship me one, I'm gonna take a stab at trying to fix the problem and also hopefully show you what's going on inside the unit. So let's take advantage of a bad situation. Okay, so step one is pretty straightforward and that is this rubber gasket go that goes all the way around the top You've kind of got to get under there and uh, pull that up so that you can get to the screw underneath. And to do that, you can use, well, almost anything, but I'm going to use a screwdriver to get under there. And then I'm going to hang on to this. And then you can see each one of these holes is going to be uh, a screw that we're going to have to take out. There we go. Behold! Ta -da! Here is where our problem is. I apologize if this is a little shaky, but you can see this is the cable that goes into the MPP PPT controller, and over here, down here, is where it is attached. And I'm not entirely sure what my problem is because it actually is screwed in pretty good on the top side but it looks like on the bottom side it's got some some play in it so I am going to try to carefully take that out and fix it I don't know if that's going to come through very well but that's what I'm going to try to do I haven't fully fixed this yet but I plugged it in I can tell the difference when I plugged in because before this did not go all the way flush it kind of like sat on there funny and I could tell it wasn't connecting and and it treated it as a, it, it wasn't making a good connection, so it treated it like a car input and only pulled 7 amps instead of a full 15 or 16 amps. So uh, that was the problem. Um, I'm trying to debate on how I'm going to fix this because it's a lot of work. Well, it's more work to take out this screw and bracket and try to get it back in place. And I'm thinking I might just, I don't know. I'm going to think about this. You can see it's working now. It's got the full 920 coming in. Um, so, yeah, I just need to put this thing back together. But that's what the problem was. And there she is all put back together, getting the full, uh, in this case, 920 of what I was feeding into it. Um, yeah, so it's not hard. It's definitely doable by a regular handyman. Okay, so I got everything fixed. I would say there's just two, th well, a couple things to keep in mind. One is make sure that the whole unit is completely powered on, down and disconnected um, from every power source, including your, your solar panels and your, you know, your infinity cables, everything else, uh, when you take it apart. Two is uh, once you get it apart and you find the problem, you see where the issue is. What I wound up doing was just putting pressure on that back side on the lower end of the bracket and plugging in my XT60i um, uh, connector cable so that it had a good connection and then I put it all back together. Uh, if you want to go further, you can certainly can. You can take off the sides, you can pull out on the back, get in there, tighten up the bracket. I didn't want to go quite that far, didn't need to. But, oh, last thing, <laughs> particularly when you got that cover off, if you, just so you know, if you plug in like your uh, solar panels or, or another source, it will be powered up. It will automatically turn on even if you got it turned off and you know you could uh, electrocute yourself so be very careful with that um, probably knew that should go without saying but i just want to throw it out there just in case you are digging into the innards of, of your delta pro don't do that be careful <laughs> all right thanks for watching